Hi everyone, it's Nicole here, the Harmonious Hippie. Today's video is going to be a quick meditation. I uh, have been focusing a lot on the physical asana based practice recently in um, most of my videos. So I thought it would be nice to get cuddled up, put on a cozy blanket like I have, or a sweater, your jammies. Um, I'm in front of my Christmas tree here. Um, so I just thought it would be nice for us to do a quick little meditation to center the body and uh, focus on some gratitude as well. I would also like to say a very happy Hanukkah to those of you who are celebrating that. Um, and I don't have anything else to say. What a shock. I think this is my shortest intro yet. Uh, so just come to your comfortable seat on a chair, couch, laying down on your bed, sitting on your floor. I'm sitting on a pillow. Um, just find a comfortable space for yourself and let's get started. Okay guys, so finding your comfortable position here, we're gonna bring the hands to the knees wherever you are or just down beside you if you are um, laying in bed or laying down. You can have the palms face up to receive or face down um, for grounding. So just whatever feels comfortable for you today. If you have a particular crystal or something that you'd like to hold in one of your hands, you can go ahead and grab that as well. Just finding yourself in a comfortable space here and just rolling the shoulders up and back, rising up tall through the crown of the head and just closing down the eyes. Beginning to come to the breath, in and out through the nose. Just starting to wind the body down, tuning in. We're going to take a quick body scan, starting at the top of the head. And just slowly scanning down through the body, noticing where you find sensation, tension, lightness or heaviness, and not letting your attention get stuck anywhere, just acknowledging that, and flowing back down through the body towards the feet. As we come to the lower half of the body and the end of our body scan, starting to turn your attention to your surroundings. I find that this is made a little bit easier by tuning into all of the five senses. So noticing what you can feel here. For myself, I can feel air conditioning just switched on so I can feel that blowing against my arms. I feel the softness of this blanket and the pillow beneath me. Sight, obviously your eyes are closed, but perhaps there's a light coming from some direction. Noticing what it feels like to have the mouth closed, relaxed. And moving on to your smell. Maybe you can smell dinner being cooked or the remnants of dinner. <laughs> Maybe you have a candle nearby. Lastly, just tuning into what you can hear. Not only with this video, you can obviously hear me speaking. You can probably hear my air conditioning, maybe the fountain. Potentially you can hear that one of the cats has decided this is a great time to eat some more food. 
also noticing the sounds around you specifically in your house. Can you hear a fan? Maybe you can hear some faint sounds of family members off in the distance in the house. Perhaps it's windy or raining outside. Just knowing that the true goal with meditation is to always return back to your breath and to take time for yourself. The goal is not to sit still with a completely blank mind for three hours. <laughs> so sometimes being able to hyper-focus and tune into your surroundings, leaning into the sounds that you're hearing, to the disturbances, these things can help you feel very present and can actually help you to focus your energy on one thing so that you're not just thinking of multiple different things, thoughts flying in and out of the head. Perhaps you're just focused on hearing your kids laugh. <laughs> just knowing that Every time you have to remind yourself, oh, here I'm thinking, back to the breath. Oh, there I was thinking again, back to the breath. This is a win. Don't get frustrated with yourself because I've had to draw my attention back five times today. Maybe your mind is busier today. Just knowing that it is meditation every time that you come back to that breath. So focusing here on the anchor point in your body where you most feel your breath flowing in and out. Let's just take a moment here. I'll be quiet. <laughs> and just focus your attention on your breath. Observe your breath with curiosity see how it feels today. There's no judgment here. There's no right or wrong here. Just observe what's going on for you today. Clenching the jaw, if your shoulders have risen, risen up by your ears, letting that go, releasing that down. wandering without judgment just bringing the mind attention back to your breath back to your body count the breath. If you find that you're feeling too distracted, just inhaling one, exhaling two, inhaling three, exhaling four, counting up to ten, and then starting back at one.
focus on the tension, focusing on the breath. of this meditation, begin to broaden your attention again to your surroundings, to your present moment, feeling the weight of your body pressing down into your pillow, chair, floor, feeling the air on your skin, listening back into the room. And just leaving our eyes closed for a second longer. We can bring the hands, one hand, both hands, onto the chest, just laying the palms flat on the chest here, feeling the heart. taking a moment to think of something that has to do with you specifically, your body, your personality, anything that has to do specifically with you that you feel grateful for. And this can be kind of a hard practice for a lot of people, especially if you've spent a lot of your life saying negative things about yourself. Just taking a baby step here, maybe the only thing you can think of is that I'm grateful for my toes <laughs> because they keep me balanced. It could be something small, tiny. I'm grateful for my sense of humor. Anything like that. Just find that one little thing that you're grateful for that has to do specifically with you. And focusing on that, just letting that fill up your whole body with your breath, sending that feeling of gratitude for that part of your body, part of your personality. Just letting it fill you up. And now just thinking of one other thing in your life. It can be big, small, it could be your cup of coffee in the morning, or it could be something existential like surviving another day. Anything that you feel in this moment, whatever comes to your mind, just one thing that you are grateful for. And let that fill you up. Feel the joy having that thing in your life or having experienced that thing. Feel the warmth of that gratitude. And 
as you can say it in your head with me or you can say it out loud with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hands can come to heart center on Jolly Mudra or you can leave the hands flat on the chest, bowing the head slightly to honor yourself, your body, your practice. And bringing the hands to the mouth for kind words, to the third eye for kind thoughts. The divine light in me honors, acknowledges, and bows to the divine light in you. Namaste. I hope you guys enjoyed that meditation and that you have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. Um, I'm hoping that everyone is being gentle with themselves at this time. I know the holiday season can be a little bit rough for some people. So just know that I am here for you. Um, and if you would like to contact me, you can do so on Instagram, uh, YouTube comments, whichever format you would like, you can always email me as well. I will link that information to contact me down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel if you would like to do so. Um, I'm here every Saturday posting videos, either a full practice, a chat about crystals or tarot cards or yoga teacher training. Um, I still plan to do a video about that at some point. <laughs> and also just doing like meditations and that kind of thing as well. Please, please comment down below and let me know what you liked about this video, what you're looking forward to at this holiday season if you're struggling with something, um, and obviously let me know what you would like to see from me in the coming weeks. I hope you have a wonderful day. Namaste.